Let me go back to the beginning. As our Jewish friends say, the first word to Abraham is negative. Leave. He had to leave his country, his culture, his kin. So God's new way, not the Tower of Babel, not the pre-flood conditions, God's new way, his project, starting with Abraham, then the family, and then Moses, and then the people of Israel, moving down to our Lord himself. God's new way begins negatively, with a break. We are a counterculture. We are a creative minority in the world. We are not Egypt. We are not Babylon. We are not Rome. We are not Greece. So our Lord says we are to be in the world, but not of the world. So that's the creative tension. Now that means there are two extremes that are wrong, as Peter Berger puts it. One extreme is defiance and resistance, not in the world at all. The other extreme is accommodation and surrender. Now, you look at the church, say, since the 18th century, liberal theology, liberal revisionism, made the great mistake of following the ideas of the world. And you can see that Schleiermacher in the 18th century, Friedrich Schleiermacher, called for Peter to follow the culture despisers of the gospel. The trouble is he reached them and joined them. And liberal theology, right down to the extremes of the Episcopal Church today, has sold out the faith at point after point. But some fundamentalists have gone to the other extreme. So the challenge is to keep them too. So in Impossible People, I was challenging faithful people to realize that modernity is a challenge, not just false ideas like relativism. And many Christians, I said earlier, they're aware of the danger of ideas, but they're not aware of the dangers of modernity. So I'm not against modernity, but to resist it, you have to recognize it.